Woods. Uh, spent the morning here getting our uh, stop block installed. I put up a video there a few days ago of uh, it's called uh, replacing a siding stop block, and I had it all, uh, we tore it all out. And uh, this morning we uh, got it all back, bolted back in place, and uh, put together. We're uh, we're done here. Had some good help this morning. I had several. Uh, couple guys working with me. We started at 7.30 and uh, got it all uh, back in place by about 11.30. So put this gravel here. This is not normal, but uh, kind of a safety issue because the rails here were sticking out and people walking around here and we didn't want the safety department to complain. So we piled this gravel. Plus if they drive trucks around here to uh, get fuel for the have a fuel tank on the back of that truck there so just a safety thing that we uh, did this it doesn't really look, look all that great but I'm sure the safety department would not have been happy with those rails sticking out anyway you should go back and watch that other video you saw everything was apart and just had the ties hanging and uh, what we did was we this this stock rail here pushed it in against stop goes against the rail marked the holes and we drilled the holes two holes on this end and uh, two holes on that end and we uh, pushed the stock rail back in there and bolted it up and then our, then we made our joint on this side showed you a joint bar the other day laying on the ground but that's how it looks they're holding the, the two rails together don't really need six bolts in here in this in this siding. If it was main line, we'd have six, but uh, and then obviously uh, got the joint bar on the other side holding it together. So then we did the same thing on the other side. One thing um, we don't do here is uh, torch cut holes in the rail. That uh, makes the rail brittle. Never torch cut a rail uh, unless you're going to use it for scrap because it just makes it really really brittle and we shove these two up up in the uh, holder I showed you on the last video how they walk walk in there make it all uh, all safe and secure we did a good job here this morning in a fairly short time we, we did get rained on for about a half hour but uh, So it's getting humid here. I wanted to show you my uh, rail drill. Well, I got uh, that's our SD40-2 back there. I've uh, it's still got the, still haven't got the uh, drive shaft for the air compressor fixed. I put up a video on that there uh, several weeks ago. So it's, uh, they're, they're working on it, but it's still not fixed. Uh, I gotta hold on here while I get up back of my truck. There's our rail drill. It does a pretty slick job. We uh, here I got a, a bit for you. That's a new bit. It's an inch and one eighth locks in there it's got a thing locks in there these bits cost about 80 bucks a piece and I can probably drill 15 16 holes if I'm lucky with one bit but there's a uh, uh, cutting solution that uh, comes out here this this tip right here pushes against the rail and that opens up a plunger which lets the fluid come out hook it into here and uh, when that plug comes out of the rail you can actually pick it up with your bare hand it's uh, not that warm this uh, drilled a lot of holes over the years with this this has been a good machine it's $5,500 about 10 years ago for this uh, rail drill so we'll, and this clamps into the web of the rail and you tighten it down with this against the rail get it good and tight when I'm drilling uh, holes for joint bars I've got a guide that this piece right here goes down into is down into the guide that uh,
helps me out. So. I guess that's all I'm going to tell you today with our stop blocks finished and did a good job and I'm going to go sit in the air-conditioned truck here for a little while. Get cooled down. Have a good day and thanks for watching.